make a distinction between should companies use social media and should, should CEOs use social media? You know, we're talking about, and they're two different things. You know, companies need to um, use social media for sure. There are three or four real issues that uh, managements have when they're thinking about social media, right? There's information security, there's confidentiality, there's reputation management, right? And most important, there's what I call the democratization of corporate decision making. Right? This influence that social media has, you know, when your customers talk about something, you get bad service, you talk about something. What's happening is the CEOs and you know, company management is beginning to feel pressure to respond in real time to things that they normally don't respond to in real time, right? And there's this whole democratization of corporate decision making that seems to be pushed down everybody's throat, which people aren't ready for. So I think there are two realities here, you know, Decision making about social media is happening in the context of, of our current cultural mores, whether they be internal to the company or external to society. This media will slowly change the way people look at reputation itself. And let me give an example. It's terrifying to open Facebook someday and see, you know, the pictures of one of your senior executives in the last weekend in Goa. <laughs> and the whole world is looking at it. And it's, oh my God, what's going to happen to my company's reputation? You know, but what's going to happen is the people who are seeing those pictures are going to slowly change the way they relate those pictures to your company's reputation. So media itself has an impact on how social mores and you know, cultural mores change over a period of time. So don't measure and, and, and everything you know, today with relation to the social mores today. You know, measure it with the way they're going to change.